name of contractor is R. Sang Kumar Khadla. Agreement among is 2,389.92 lakhs. Date of commencement of the work is 15 January 2016. Date of completion is 30 November 2022. The up-to-date expenditure is 2,086 lakhs. Now, the total area of the building is 10,056.89 square meter. That is the total area of the building. So each of the floor has separate areas. Those areas are like this. Basement to area is 496.14 square meter. Basement one area is 1054.14. 10 square meter. Ground floor 315.58 square meter. And first floor area is 1370.43 square meter. Second floor is 1728.56 square meter. Third floor is 1,728.56 square meter. Fourth floor is 1,728.56 square meter. Fifth floor is 1,695.96 square meter. So the total area of all those floors is 10,000. 56.89 square meter. Now, general specification of the building is like this. Foundation type is isolated RCC footing. Superstructure is RCC frame structure. Walling is hybrid thick wall. Flooring is vitrified tiles flooring. Doors are 38 mm thick solid wood door. Windows are aluminium windows. Leaf provision is three numbers. Out of these three numbers, two numbers are 6% jars capacity. And one number is 8% jars capacity. An AC system is split type 20 numbers. This 20 number is one number in its just room. And five numbers is two TR and 30 numbers is 1.5 TR. Two numbers, one TR. And five fighting is dry riser system. Then scope of work. Abstract scope of work is as below. That is jumper with court room are twenty numbers. So this chicken session just jumper with court room is one number. Just great one jumper with court rooms are eight numbers. And just great two jumper with court rooms are four numbers. And that is great three jumper with court rooms are seven numbers. So all all that is, all that is jumper with court rooms are twenty numbers. Then advocate bar are two numbers. Counseling room is one number. Conference hall is one number. Library is one number. Video conferencing room is one number. Account section is one number. 
judicial section group is one number. As the beach, beach men section is one number. ICT is one number. Sarah room is one number. Canteen of the kitchen is one number. Lock up rooms are five numbers. Malkana. That is store for sales property rooms. Two numbers. Parking facility facilities for car is 20, 34, 34 cars with two wheeler, 45 numbers. That is a basement, one car, three numbers and two wheeler, eight numbers. At ground floor, car, 31 numbers and two wheeler, 37 numbers. So in the next space, detailed scope of work is available and it is a class. These details I will not read out because this paper it is already distributed to you. I think you, all of you are having money and reading this. So that's all is the technical report I can give. Thank you all. Thank you, sir, for your in-depth and informative technical report. Now, may I invite Poo T.J. Lamutra, Honorable Minister, Law and Judicial, Government of Missouri, to address the audience. Chief Justice, Gaudi High Court, Arun Chaya. Justice U. Michael Zotankova, Portfolio, Arizona Judicial District, Judge Abu Valadin Boya, District and Session Judge, uh, Justice, yes, it's like, uh, Justice Marty Van Ku, who uh, Middle of Boya, Chief Engineer, P. Helen Dongli, CP Law and Judicial. Who is a chef? Joel Dela, Richard, Gaudi High Court. Who is a young man of trash? Missouri Bar Association, Christian. Who is a senior of Java, advisor to senior, senior advocate. Who is a strong boy, vice chairman. Who is a young man of trash? Who is a young man of trash? เอ่อพอเป็นครั้งครั้งละตอนนั้นเด้ออ่าไอ้ตอนตาเสียพอให้ตอนเราเนี่ยอ่าการที่หน้าฟังนี่ไว้นะคุณท่านชิบายกับผ
Honorable Chief Justice uh, Aram Chaya, who is very humble and approachable to others without comprising his position. It has always been a pleasure to meet him and interact with him. As a minister in charge of law, judicial department, it is my honor to personally welcome him today. Since the Honorable Chief Justice uh, is retired shortly, uh, I am missing him uh, in advance. It gives me great pleasure to stand here today on the occasion of the inauguration of the district court building. I express my gratitude to PWD government of Mizoram for their de dedicated uh, and hard work in construction of this building. The efforts rendered by the government of the Mizoram and the, uh, the Gawadi High Court have been materialized to the establishment of the district court building in Aizon. With continued effort, it is hoped to establish district court building in other district too. It is fortunate that development have been witnessed in the judiciary in terms of physical assets. It is the determination of the government to establish good infrastructure for the district courts in the state. We are gradually proceeding towards the goal. It is a well-known fact that the legislative, executive, and judiciary have different roles to play. Even so, we have been able to develop a good working relationship among the three powers. It is my strong belief that we are able to make achievements due to the favorable working environment. The government has always tried its level best to provide better court houses, judicial quarters, and facilities for the judicial officers. Upholding the rule of law is an important for ensuring an orderly and just society. I believe that the, su the success of democracy depends on the success of judiciary. <coughs> for the rule of law to be effective, everyone needs to have access to legal service. The justice system and other solutions to conflict and grievance as well as to basic information about legal rights and process. In our judicial system today, the right approach to has, to has been taken to legal services authorities by providing legal awareness programs and clinics that provide free basic legal advice. Today, I would like to express my appreciation to the Honorable Chief Minister of Mizoram, Buzorum Thana, who during his previous tenure as a Chief Minister had taken initiation for separation of the judiciary from the executive. Under his leadership, the separation of judiciary was done in the year 2005. With the separation of judiciary from the executive, it is a well-known fact that the proceedings of the courts cannot be influenced by the government. <coughs> However, it can be observed that the public are still not fully aware of the separation of the judiciary and the executive. The public are still of the opinion that the government could interfere in the judgment passed by the judges which is a wrong and misleading notion. It is necessary that the public is made aware that the government cannot be present if it had happened prior to the separation of the judiciary. 
for the success of the judicial system, it is necessary for the public to put their trust in the proper and just functioning of the judicial system. The government and the judiciary has to work together towards delivery of just and speedy justice. It is not worthy that at the time of drafting of recruitment rules of the judicial officers, the then Chief Minister Uzzurum Salam had insisted on the inclusion of the Mizo Pharmacular up to six standard as mandatory paper. This has enabled the recruitment of local residents for the state as judicial officers. Today, I express my appreciation for his vision and effort. Even today, under his leadership, the government is ready to assist the judiciary to accomplish the policy and infrastructure to the, to the best of our ability. The three pillar of the government the three pillars of the government, legislature, executive, and judiciary, are essential elements of the rule of law, which is enshrined in the Constitution. Although the three powers have been separated, it is necessary to understand the importance of working together for achievement of a common goal. It is, it is like the saying, theistic, Bundled together are stronger than a single stick. If it's all the three powers functions with absolute isolation, it will defy our constitutional norms. Therefore, it is of utmost importance to work together for the good of the society and the state as a whole. We need to all bear and the egos and embrace each other for the betterment of the state. Functioning under the democratic government, it is imperative for the legislative and the judiciary to often share a common table for the realization of our policy and goals. The legislative and the judiciary has their own independent function and powers. However, at the same time, it is not possible to make advancement if either side was in complete isolation. Also, it is necessary to maintain a good bench bar relationship, bench bar relationship in order to provide an efficient justice delivery system. It is necessary to maintain a cordial relationship between the judges and the advocates. We are all striving to achieve what we believe is right. A good man's power relationship will result in achieving of our goals. <coughs> Lastly, I would like to share that a good number of judges in the lower courts who are efficient and competent for the judge of the high court with the increase in population and the legal awareness among the public, there has been gradual increase in litigation. These litigations have been handled efficiently by competent judges of the lower courts. However, our judicial officers are seldomly appointed as judges of the High Court. The state has commissioned Lokayuta and other offices which can be held preferable by retired judges of the High Court. The government often faces difficulty in filling up of this prestigious post by desired person due to lack of retired High Court judges. I therefore take this opportunity to kindly request the Honorable Mr. Justice R.M. Chaya to look into our plight and consider appointment of competent judicial officers and advocates in the state as High Court judges. 
Today, we have opened a new chapter in the spear litigation advancement in litigation will bring forth a development in the society and the state. I believe that we will continue to witness a successful judiciary system in the years to come. I wish you all Merry Christmas in advance. Kalome! Thank you, sir, for your inspiring and informative speech. May I even now invite Honorable Justice Michael Soto Kuma, Judge Mohaki Hawkins, to address the gathering. Mr. Justice R.M. Chaya, my brother, Judge Nessel Simon, Assistant Judge, Mrs. Murray, the Honorable Home Minister, O Manuna, the Chief Engineer, the District and High Lord, O H. Ramoy, the SCDB Chairman, who uh, I'm very happy to say is uh, amongst us, uh, the advisor to see him. Mr. Sota, the local Yuta, the district judges of other districts the, and the judicial officers, Pujoja, chief architect and the present chief architect, the retired Mizoram judicial service officers, Mrs. Helen, the law secretary, the police and the excise officials, the forensic director, the president of the Mizoram Bar Association and all the members of the Mizoram Bar Association, the PWD and the, the starting with the chief, the chief engineer and Pasana Vida and the other EEs and his deals, the media persons, the registry of the High Court and the District Courts, all the staff, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, due to personal problems, I couldn't, uh, I was not thinking of any speech, uh, written down speech, I didn't mean, so I'll have to wing it. I would like to say that it was due to the initiative and guidance given by various Chief Justices of our High Court, including our present Chief Justice, that we have been able to now come to the stage of inaugurating the building. And I'm happy to say that the pendency of the uh, cases in the district courts has come down. Earlier it was 6,000 plus, now it's less than 6,000. So I must congratulate the judicial officers and the bar association in jointly taking efforts to uh, bring the pendency down. Hopefully, adjournments will be less, not only in the high courts, but in the district courts. Having said that, I would like to uh, give my special thanks to O.H. Ramon and the Law Minister and O. Ramzawa for their invaluable help in solving the problems with regard to the growth of the infrastructure for the judiciary in Israel. The PWD has also been of immense help and the contractor has also been someone listening to us whenever we give him some modifications to be made. My brother and sister judges have all along 
been part of many deliberations in ensuring that this building comes into place. And now it is our duty to ensure that justice is provided to everyone and mostly to the weaker sections of the society. We have a duty to do our part as the government has now provided us with a new building in a very beautiful location. Having said that, I would just like to inform the law minister and the government of Israel that there is a building here at the site which is a dilapidated building and we have uh, somewhat decided to approach the government to ensure that this building is made habitable and that it is given to the judiciary so that other offices which is a part and parcel of the district judiciary can be housed in that building. So I am giving advance warning to the government that we are going to take steps in that direction. Having stated that, I would like to, I cannot but forget the contribution given by the various registrars of the Guwahati High who had taken initiative in ensuring that this building was in place. Mr. Mama, Mr. M. M. Madam uh, Helen, Joel, I thank you for all the support you have given to the others who are part of this endeavor. Now, and I must say one thing before I finish my speech. Our Chief Justice, Mr. Honorable Mr. Justice Aran Chaya is a very down-to-earth and very meticulous Chief Justice. He is very approachable and I must say, I have got no qualms in saying that we have a deserving Chief Justice who will be inaugurating this district. So I thank our Chief Justice for accepting this, uh, this uh, invitation to inaugurate this building. He was reluctant because he said that his entire calendar was full, day by day it is full. And I, I know that. And he, he said that, Michael, you inaugurated it. I said, no, no, this building has to be inaugurated by the Chief Justice. And so he has kindly consented to inaugurate this building. And uh, sir, we are very thankful for your presence, though virtually. Thank you. Thank you, Lordship, for your informative and enlightening speech. We also express our heart of our sincere appreciation to His Lordship for his interest and involvement in the construction and completion of the district court building at Azul. We shall now invite his lordship, Honorable Justice R. N. Chaya, Chief Justice of the Guwahati High Court, to deliver the inaugural address. Mr. T. J. Rajendra, Honorable Law Minister, State of Mizoram, Honorable Mr. Justice Michael.
Actually, I didn't get to come in any way to school to live in the country. But due to some prior commitment, I am unable to be present among you all today. But nevertheless, I am very happy that the dream of having an independent district court will be here at I know has ultimately been materialized with the best infrastructure of the land. Today is a very auspicious day for all of us. As we together have accepted the Wednesday with the European, the new judicial court building here that I know the necessary infrastructure, which is capable of expensive justice at the threshold of every house. The construction of the district court building commenced in the year 2016. And I am told that this whole building is constructed at an estimated cost of about 26 and 13 crores, which is one of the best known buildings in Mizoram, having an approximate area of 12,000 square meters. And it is spread out on the ground floor and fifth and sixth, fifth floor and two basement, and building for 22 more courts. Space for members of the park, Kathy, library, and video conferencing room. Ample parking space for the judges, all staff, and focus on meeting rooms. The building is equipped with three number of ways for ease of access to the uniform. A five way KVA distribution transformer for <coughs> the dedicated power supply to the building, and a fire rating system, including fire hydrants are also installed in the building. The building is anticipated to be sufficient to meet the present as well as future requirements for functioning of the district judiciary. The ISO Bar Association and we all came into existence in the year 1985. The Honorable Supreme Court in all India Judges Association and others was the union of or for separation of judiciary from executive and in compliance of the same direction, the government of Mizoram issued a notification in the 16th June 2005 for separation of judiciary from the executive in Mizoram and the same notification was finally given, given effect by another notification dated 1st July 2009 wherein separation of judiciary and executive in Mizoram covering the whole state of Mizoram including the autonomous district councils in the project reports. I would also like to request the members of the bar to maintain the highest standard of practice and cooperate with the new establishment. We must not forget that in each part of the institution, a sense of a strong judicial system and the bar cannot be accomplished without a free life. I would like to request my brothers and sisters Michael Kerman Portfolio Journal for High School, and every endeavor to establish a modern e library to guide the day of the world. I hope the district judges will also take positive steps in this day. I expect and sincerely hope that the district judges of High School would make every endeavor to ensure proper functioning of the courts for dispensation of justice to the poor and needy and would constantly monitor the function. The standard of institution life rises not with the beauty of the building, but the standard of administration of justice rendered by the institution. I am sure that the judicial officers posted here will set exemplary heights in rendering justice to the poor and elevating the judiciary to the minds. I congratulate the people of Isaac District for the new judicial building which has come up and also extend my wishes. To the district judge, I can bear my heartiest thanks to the district administration and PWD officers for their untold support and endeavor in constructing this grand building. I hope and believe that the courts functioning from the new judicial court building under the dynamic leadership of the district administration will surely be able to fulfill the dreams and aspirations and the meeting and bombing of the Isaac district at large. I again thank you for inviting me to the in this function for you. Thank you very much. Thank you, your Lordship, for your very informative and inspiring speech. And we also express our sincere gratitude to His Lordship for 
sparing time, despite his very position, you to inaugurate the district court guilty. Now, may I invite his lordship, Honorable Justice Arun Chaya, Chief Justice of Gauhati High Court, to unveil the plaque virtually, while Honorable Justice Michael Zatan Puma shall physically unveil the plaque on behalf of the Chief Justice.